You know, the holidays can sometimes trigger painful memories of loved ones lost, as well as the cold winter months ahead. Now add a pandemic with social restrictions, and it could be a recipe for the holiday blues. Dr. Lauren Dalfara is the CEO of Palm Health, to offer some, here to offer some ideas to hopefully make it easier not only for you, but for your loved ones. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. First of all, what are the holiday blues and why can they be harmful? So what we see with the holiday blues is it's that time of the year where big expectations meet disappointment and it can really trigger a sense of loneliness and resentment and um, just fear in people ultimately. And so what we try to do to help people, you know, get through that time period and it's normal because the holidays represent all the marketing around them. You see the winter white wonder wonderland representing a time of peace and tranquility and lights representing renewal. And we have these big expectations, but when reality sits in, um, it's just not what it all lives up to be. So it creates a big sense of disappointment. Mm. Yeah, some people may be feeling this way each year anyway with seasonal affective disorder, which is a real thing. What yeah. about those who may be feeling it for the first time? What can we do to help? Well, that is definitely common, especially now with this pandemic and so much division between us and lack of connectivity. So one of the reasons is that we look so much outside of ourselves to fill ourselves where really where we need to be looking is working to find that inner tranquility and that inner peace. So some of the key things that we can do um, are to foster forgiveness during this time of the season and to really look at those things that build up in us. Our natural state is to fight when things aren't going right, but um, it builds resentment. So helping us find ways to not necessarily reconcile, but to forgive, to work mm -hmm. to understand other people and to accept them and to give ourselves permission to move on finding ways to bring that inner peace through gratitude, exercise, journaling on things that we're grateful for. And of course, especially in this time of season, charity. And right. really, you know, this is a great time to organize your home and donate things to people in need. Absolutely. Um, so what types of services do you provide at Palm Health specifically for this issue? So we have wonderful coaches who aren't just trained in healthy lifestyle behaviors, but are trained in helping people develop more positive emotions and working on their relationships. Right now, especially with all the changes in our home dynamics and quarantining, developing more meaningful and positive relationships and improved communication is really critical during this time. So we offer well-being coaching was a fantastic way to help work on personal development and bring um, foster within ourselves uh, the attributes and skills to be more resilient during this time. Hmm, maybe a different approach this holiday season. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate your time. Uh, and for our viewers, if you'd like more information on tackling the holiday blues, whether it be for yourself or someone else, you can contact Palm Health. We'll provide you a link on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app.